What's up guys, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today I've got really exciting news. So this is the second video that I'm putting out today, but I absolutely have to get this one out. So as you all know by now, with Epic Games releasing Grand Theft Auto V for a free week, meaning if you grabbed it, you keep it forever, there are a ton more people trying to play the game, especially trying to mod it. And unfortunately, with a new release came a new update, and that update stopped a major part of Grand Theft Auto V modding from working, and that is Script Hook 5. Now, the original creator hasn't released an update in some time, his website was down for the past few days, and it has finally come back online, although it is still not updated, meaning that the official release won't work with Grand Theft Auto V on the Epic Games Store. This release over here only really works with 5M and a bunch of other stuff, and those workarounds can be annoying to say the least, and other workarounds which I've gone through before don't exactly work perfectly, but they do work well enough. This video, however, is going to show you how to get a working, updated version of Script Hook 5, even though it wasn't officially released by Alexander himself. Now, of course, I'm making this video specifically now because I have a somewhat trustable, verifiable release for a modified version of Script Hook 5. Now, before we get into the actual video, I do want to discuss on why I held back up until now. If you don't already know, a DLL file is exactly what we added to the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, and it adds a bunch of functionality to the game for us to mod. Now, the reason you don't want to download this DLL from base basically any source, is it's functionally the same as an EXE, just you can't double click on it. So what does that mean? Well, you take a malicious DLL file, put it in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, launch up the game, and all of a sudden, you have ransomware on your PC, or something even worse. Now, of course, that's not exactly something that anyone would wish on anyone else. And having a look at GTA5mods.com, here is the official Script Hook 5 and Native Trainer download by quote-unquote Alexander Blade, but this page is managed by the forum moderators, and the comment section is extremely active. There's a lot of chat going on, especially in the past few days. And if we have a look at the pinned comment right at the top, posted 14 hours ago, it says, Anyway guys, if you just want a direct link to download Script Hook 5 for Epic Games Store GTA 5 without additional explanations, use this mega link, which will be in the description down below, and he gives us a SHA hash to verify that this file is actually legit. Then he links across to the GTA forums topic that he posted on, where he has some extra information. Now, why exactly is there a SHA-256 for this? Well, basically, it's a unique identifier for that file to prove that it came from a verifiable source, and we know it's exactly how he released it. It hasn't been modified, it hasn't been touched. Now, usually I wouldn't go ahead and check these things, but for something like this, where there are so many people trying to take advantage of other people who download this from unverifiable sources, I am in fact going to cover how to verify that this archive we're downloading is actually legit. So I do recommend you head across to this page, as well as this forum page over here, and check to see that the SHA hash is correct and the same as the file that you download. He also links across to the virus total for the archive, as well as the actual DLL itself, which is here, the zip, and here, the actual file itself. If we have a look at the mega link, I'll simply right-click on the zip and click Download. As such, and now we're downloading the zip. While that downloads, I'll head back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this SHA-256 hash just so we can verify that this file is actually legit. If I copy it, head across to the GTA 5 forums page, Control f to search, and paste it in here, you'll see it's highlighted over here, meaning that this is the exact same hash over here, meaning these two are verifiably the same. I've moved the zip onto my desktop over here, and before we go ahead and open it, I'm going to verify that it came from the correct place. You'd head across to Virus Total, which will also be linked in the description down below, drag and drop Script Hook 5 into it, and you'll get taken to this page over here, detected by no engines. All you have to do is Control F, and paste in that hash that we copied earlier, and as you can see, it's highlighted over here, meaning it's the exact same one. So we've got the right file, meaning this is trusted, at least by the moderators and other people on the GTA 5 mods forum, as well as this forum over here. If we have a look at the comments section quickly, you can see a moderator on the forum over here saying it temporarily pinned the workaround until Alexander Blade's website is up again, the files should be clean. Now, of course, the website is back, but it's not updated. Anyways, with all of that aside, now that we have a verified correct release of this from this community member, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can add it to your game. And just as extra proof, 
I'll be going ahead and I'll install a menu, which has seemed to work in previous videos of mine, but it doesn't exactly work properly. I tried toggling a couple of settings and it ended up crashing out of the game entirely. So all I need to do is open up where GTA 5 is installed. Over here is the folder. Usually you'll find it in C program files, Epic Games, GTA 5, though I have it on a separate hard disk. Having a look at all of the files here, you can see they're all stock. They came from me downloading the game. The only thing different is this mods folder over here, which has some modified RPFs inside of it, which I used in my OpenIV video, which will be linked down below. But of course, these won't be used at all unless we go ahead and enable those ASIs. With all of that assigned, this is basically a fresh stock version of Grand Theft Auto V. I'll open up the zip that we downloaded, open up the bin folder, and I'll select everything here. And if I were to go ahead and drag and drop these files into this folder, out of the zip as such, we've now basically installed this updated version. Now, I won't be using native trainer over here, so I'll go ahead and I'll delete it, and instead I'll be downloading menu and installing it as well. So heading across to that link in the description, I'll click download, click the zip file over here next to latest release, and I'll go ahead and open it when it's done. Then I'll drag and drop both menu stuff and menu.asi into the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Now that we've done all of that, all that's left to do is open up Grand Theft Auto 5 through Epic Games. So I'll close out of the two zips while the launcher starts, library, and I'll go ahead and simply click on Grand Theft Auto 5. There we go. Now I'm simply going to head into story mode. And there we go. Now I'm inside of the house. I'm simply going to go ahead and hit F8 to open up the menu mod menu. As you see, it's been loaded. Pressing it again. Here it is in all of its glory. So now I can use numpad 2 and 8 to go up and down. I can hit 5 to open up a menu and 0 to go back. To close it, I can hit F8 again. But I'll go ahead and first say it teleport across to a landmark. Let's go to the pier. Pressing the button. We've now been instantly teleported. If I were to go back to, hit across to, say, weapons, I can give myself a digi scanner, holding it, say, briefcase. Let's go ahead and change the weather to thunder. Foggy, extra sunny. Time options, I can change the time in game. Misc options, I can go ahead and enable stuff like top down view. Meteor shower mode. EMP mode for nighttime. Oh, hello, there's a meteor. <laughs> Fireworks ahoy, not exactly sure what that does. Oh, there's fireworks on my feet. All right then. Jump around mode where people are jumping around for some reason. <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. By now, using menu with basically any other workaround has seemed to end up in crashes, though this one seems to work very well. And because it's reliably accessible, well, hey, at least it's basically safe to go ahead and download. Now, of course, nothing is quote unquote safe to download on the internet. It's all about who you trust. And of course, I showed you how to verify that this file is actually legit from the place that you're downloading it. So hopefully you end up with a safe copy of it, at least until Alexander Blade decides to release an updated version. If you'd like to see more about what he did, I'd highly recommend you check out the GTA forums post which is also linked down in the description below. But anyways, if you'd like to install other mods, car mods, weapon mods, etc, etc, make sure to check the description down below for a link to a video on that. I go through installing OpenIV as well as modding the game. That's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.